Michael, many congratulations. You are back in the winning circle. We can see what it means to you, the raw emotion on your face. How are yeah, you feeling right now? Me, uh, I think to, to perform well like this against a player who's playing an absolutely phenomenal tournament is also always nice to, to win that way. And uh, uh, I had to come from far and uh, I did it. And uh, that means a lot to me. Did this prove to yourself as well it was still there? Because obviously people kept beating you with good games and you must be thinking, is it ever going to happen again this year? Yeah, of course. You always need to... But you have to keep believing in yourself. That's why I always did. And uh, otherwise, if you don't believe in yourself, you also can do what I did now. And uh, I think overall I played a phenomenal tournament and I can be proud of myself, uh, Phil. In 2012, when you won your first one, it set you off on this unbelievable journey. Did today feel the same, that this is the reset? Yeah, one second, one second. Can yeah, please ask him to be quiet for a second? James, please, a second. They're rigging here. One second, I can't hear you. There you go. Keep it going. In, in 2012, when you won the first major, it set you off on this unbelievable journey. Does today, is that the same feeling, that this is going to set you off to yeah, go again? Yeah, probably even better, because I had to come from far, and uh, everyone knows... Uh, my my year being absolutely uh, crap to be fair for for for, for my standard, but uh, I, I had to battle that in this year, and I had to do the right thing at the right moments, and uh, to do what I did today, uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. Uh, of course, uh, everything goes up and down, but I come from really far, and uh, yeah, then yeah, they give me a lot of yeah, good feeling. Can we officially now say that you're back because you played it all down? You said not yet, not yet. Now can we officially say it? Maybe, maybe, but. Uh, when I'm back, I want to win more tournaments, simple as that. And uh, I always keep the pressure on me, but it's a lovely start. And uh, I'm also glad I could I, I finished it off and I didn't make a lot of mistakes. And uh, of course, I made it myself a little bit difficult in the end because I missed three darts to go 10-7 up. But uh, yeah, a win is a win. With Alexandra Palace on the horizon, does this put you there in the best of confidence, the best of mindset? That you now are officially yeah, on the to beat again. Go to the towards the Alexander Palace with a win in your pocket is always nice, and uh, you know, they give you confidence. Especially because I didn't underperform. I played the lovely games, and I uh, also put the pressure on my opponents, and I did the right things at the right moments. Couple of good finishing, and yeah, uh, I'm over the moon. Michael, congratulations, mate! Thank you very much for your time all weekend. Yes. Hi, Michael. Congratulations on winning the Players Championship. Uh, you look very emotional. Is this a sign of huge relief that you can still do this? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you always, you always, you know I can do it, but you still have to do it. And uh, to do it then in a in a game like this, in a final of this against Murgo, who's playing a phenomenal tournament, uh, beating Gerard Price in the semi-finals, playing phenomenal in the quarterfinals against uh, uh, Dirk van Dijvenbode. Yeah, the, the, then you can be proud of yourself. And that's why I am. And uh, of course, that gives me emotion because I know from how far I, uh, I've i battled. But uh, yeah, this is uh, something to look at. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, they give me goosebumps. This is, it means a lot to me. I have to say, it's a perfect storm for you this weekend with Peter and Gerwin as well. You've laid down a lot of markers. You've you've shown, made a lot of statements in one in one day. Uh, you know, I don't need to make statements. People like Gerwin and Peter know exactly what I'm capable of. And if I'm playing well, they know they have a problem. And uh, But I only need to make sure I keep believing in myself, do the right things at the right moments. And yeah, then the rest will come automatically. But you still have to do it. And uh, that's also that's always the biggest part. But uh, yeah, keep believing. That's, uh, that's really important. And just lastly from me, I have to ask you, Mervyn was seen to be mounting during the match. What's wrong with you when you were doing your celebrations at one stage? Um, is oh, that serious, serious. they're taking the Mickey, aren't they? Yeah, shout. Yeah, you can. I give you permission to shout. Tell them to shut up. Sorry, mate. Yeah, uh, during the match, Mervyn was seen mouthing, "What's wrong with you?" When you were doing one of your celebrations, he was making several faces behind your back. Um, you obviously weren't aware of this. I wasn't aware. People around me told me after the game, but I know what Mervyn is like. and He doesn't need things like this because he's a phenomenal player by himself anyway. And, uh, yeah, probably only uh, dis disrupted his own game. And, yeah, I take advantage of that and I don't make any mistakes. Listen, thank you very much, Michael, and congratulations tonight. You're welcome, mate. Cheers. Do you want headphones? Do you want a pair of headphones? No, no, keep going, keep going.
Michael, many congratulations. Back in the winner's circle. Just tell us what that final was like to be involved in. I mean, did, although it was close, did you always feel in control? When you play like this, that, that, get, that gives you confidence. And of course, it was, it was tough. And uh, uh, I've had to battle back from far. But uh, when, you, when you do the right thing at the right moment, then I yeah, think can come to the good end. And uh, I think I, did, I proved to him myself a point that uh, yeah, I'm still one of the players to beat. I'm still I'm good in good form. And I uh, know there's more than thing for, for the next tournaments. You've won the UK Open, you've now won the Players' Championship Finals, the World Championship still to go. If you were to go on and win that, that, that would still be a fantastic season for, for any other player. Does that to show the standards you've set yeah. yourself? Of course, of course. You, if I win the World, then it would be great, of course, to put it on my, on my list as well. But, uh, of course, everyone knows I had a poor uh, last yeah. six months. But, yeah, you have to keep believing in yourself. You, may, you have to make the most of it. And... Uh, that I'm picking up the right form at the right moment now. That's that's a bonus, but uh, I feel good, and uh, I need to make sure I keep this uh, yeah keep this going. Tell us what your preparation is going to be like for the World Championship. You're going to take a couple of days out now before you get back on the practice board for a good week yeah, or so. Yeah, four days off now. That's one thing for sure. Okay, Michael, congratulations. I need I, I need to make sure I I, uh, I I I keep my own thing going and. Uh, after a tournament like this, you also need a few days rest with my family, with my wife, and then uh, after that, back on the dartboard and make sure you, you keep focusing. Michael, thanks for your time. Congratulations. Yeah. Cheers. Michael, throughout that match and throughout the tournament, we saw you celebrating sort of towards the camera quite a lot. Is that a way of interacting with fans as, as they're not able to be in the, in the arena at the moment? It's, it's always tough if you don't play in front of uh, the fans because everyone knows I, I love to perform in front of the fans, but Obviously, the, at, the, at this stage, at this moment, it's not possible. And uh, we all hope uh, it's going to be back at the Worlds, but uh, it's still a long time to go. So uh, we need to uh, cross fingers and make sure it's going to happen and uh, keep believing in it. Don't make mistakes and, uh, yeah, keep it going. We know how much you, you've missed them. You're probably one of the players that have, has missed them most throughout these last few months. How much will it mean for them to be back at the World Championship yeah, should that happen? Yeah, it means a lot if we can do the right thing at the Worlds as well, but uh, it's still uh, still long better to go and uh, I need to make sure my preparation is exactly the same as, as, is, as it is in the last few tournaments and then I can do some more damage. But uh, I feel good, I feel comfortable and I know I can do it.